just threw this together in a short time because I have an Android phone. I got it, one of the reasons I, I like when having a real keyboard and things like that, and also it's Verizon rather than AT&T. This is before the iPhone. And so I just started collecting var uh, various uh, calculators which were programmed for it. So, uh, and as I said here, there's, there's a pretty fair number. You essentially just go to the app market and you search for calculator RPN and you get a whole bunch of them. And, uh, and then I have some screen grabs of the description. I'm not going to demonstrate any of them because there's just so many. It's just to sort of make you acquainted with the kind of stuff that's available. And, uh, but I have on a bunch on my phone, and I know there's others here who have that, so you can just ask. And uh, you know, I, I may have put HP in on the uh, on that slide title. It doesn't mean that uh, they said. I'm actually looking at. It, I noticed that none of them actually do say HP. You know, but you know, like here's for example one with the. Well, the, I mean, I labeled it AT, HP 15C, but notice it just says 15C there, mm -hmm. and they they also make uh, for for 12C. And I'll show some, some others that they have. And actually, there's a pretty fair number. There. Uh, so that'll make my, my presentation short. Uh, like here's what one of them has, does an 11C. Interesting price, $6.89 per line. And they also do a, does a 16C there. This is, this is just grabs from the app market. Uh, here's a company called NeoCal. Which, which, which this, this is sort of their own version. You know, this, in this case, you know, they make a whole bunch of them. And uh, if, if you want a real classic. Notice the interesting, this is you know, $4. Maybe it's a conversion from some, some number of euros, I don't know. But, uh, and this is, this, uh, this, R, this RPN count financial actually is a, it's a pretty good one because it's an initial financial. It also has scientific as well. They have a mode where you can switch between it to do scientific as well. And a lot of these are programmable. And this is a one com company called, what is his name, Peter, PG Calculator. And this is a fairly reasonable one also. And like a number of them, this is free. You know, I mean. It, none of these are more than like uh, five bucks or so, or even, even a couple of bucks. Yeah. And this, this is a, a fairly good one also, which is, they say, you know, it's complex numbers, solve, second, like third, and fourth degree equations, and a, a lot of stuff on there. So this is, again, $2.07. As they said, this is like equivalent to the HP 12C with an HP 1X, so, you know, the scientific functions as well. Here's one, another one, which is a 12C. So, um, and, you, and you, from this developer, you can it shows other ones which are more the, on the page, which they don't show. So this has like a uh, 10B as well. And uh, there's another one. There's a 15C. So there's a, there's a few of those. And uh, and this is sort of like the granddaddy of them, Droid 48, which is the the, the, the 48 emulator, you know, which, which is done directly, you know, from the ROM, so this is an accurate one. And, uh, so, uh, and there's it's something nice to see an Amiga, boy. <laughs> I didn't notice that before. Anyway, but uh, so this is the list. There's also a version of Free 42, which I was told about here, and I, I hadn't even looked for that. So, you know, that's, that's a standard uh, classic emulation of the 42, which has been on everywhere from Palm on up. So. And, uh, but, pretty well, but, you know, there was a lot of good stuff for the palm. I like that. Anyway, so, anyway, yeah, so, this is just, oh, my goodness, C64, wow. <laughs> this is what we need, right? Where's the, where's the beach ball when you need it? The red and white beach ball. I like this a lot of stuff I'll leave anyway, this is all I have for this, so I'm going to get you ahead of schedule here. Wow. So uh, I, just, I just wanted to make people are aware, of, you know, that there is a lot of stuff available in the Android app market for uh, for, for calculators with RPN. You know, program a lot of them are programmable, some are not, and uh, it's just you know, it costs a couple of dollars to just like for the iPhone market. Okay, next yeah.
has, yes. has anybody uh, checked him out to say, okay, this this really does emulate a 15C, or it does, but only these functions, or? I haven't checked that out in detail. I just I just tr try and just some of the buttons from the keyboard directly. So. HP has. Um. And. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Uh, to answer your question, uh, Ed Falk's applications, which I believe <coughs> either Java or JavaScript, I think JavaScript, uh, are accurate as far as I know. Um, so for what that's worth. So is it Ed Falk's? Yeah. Okay. Ed Falk's. So that'll be good. And also another application I wanted to mention, in case for those who haven't seen it, A41CB. Which is a relatively new one with emulates oh. a 41. A 41, I yeah. Okay, it's the program mode isn't really, you know, it's not really program mode. It's more mode. like a macro or a language. Or yeah, it is, but it's okay. decent. Okay. Just, just to let you know, I just went onto the Android market, typed in uh, Arcan calculator, 173 results. Is that all? <laughs> <laughs> no. Who uses RPM? <laughs> Those who don't use RPM. Yes. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, I have the 42 and 40. Yes, sir. I have the 42 and the 48 on my iPhone. Um, uh, and also, warning: there's a there's a popular Android-based uh, tablet uh, available from Radio Shack, very cheap, 150 bucks. But ordinary Android apps from the Android marketplace will not run on that thing. And that's typical Radio Shack, I guess. Um, they always manage to somehow. It may be running a very early, you know, like a 1.5 or 1.6 version. It's intended for book reading only. Oh, but okay. there's no reason why. There's really no reason why not. Will it run Emerson apps? <laughs> I think there's a restricted access to the market. Only those devices that fulfill all the preliminaries for the Android systems are allowed to access the market. So when you have a uh, something with an Android operating system, it doesn't automatically mean you have access to the market. But if you go to the, for instance, to Thomas Aachen's homepage to get the free 42, you just can download the APK for the 342 and have it on your Android device, whatever that is. Well, as long as it is <coughs> set so you can run things from external uh, sources. Yeah, but that should be not a procedure for Android. You well, but then if you, it have a, you have a switch on that. No, that. I can download. I can download uh, on, my, on my PC. I download applications and uh, install them in the SD card. Yeah, and they still want uh, they. They still can't be still made on run. run. No, they, no, yeah. okay. For Radio for Radio Shack's device, there's something special that has to be done to enable it for Radio Shack device, which will probably disable it for everybody else. Okay. Well, one more thing, which is not directly related to the purpose of the conference, but uh, just a, I like to write poetry too, and I wrote one which is sort of related to computation. It's a poem I call. Uh, computational compulsions. It goes like this. <clears throat> I know I must find the square root of two. Don't know the reason for what I must do. I know it's irrational, but I must see it through until I can find that square root of two. And then I must find the cosine of e. I know it's about minus 0.91173 with a sweet air of transcendentality that infuses the scent of the cosine of e. Of e. <laughs> on gamma, on Bessel, on functions hyperbolic, my mind has a compulsion to caper and frolic to numerical rhythms or radically systolic without the aid of anything mind-bending or alcoholic. <laughs> I don't want to stop. It's much too enjoyable, although it might render me quite unemployable. Maybe I should try something girl and boyable or launch some verbiage that is quite undeployable. Well, I seem to have become nonsensible, reaching for meanings indefensible. When verses go meta, it's a sign that you better end with a limerick incomprehensible. Thank you.